Hello everyone, it's Evoma. I educate the African diaspora about African opportunities. Today's episode's a light-hearted poke at the dumbest questions I've seen online about Africa. Make sure you like and subscribe to receive more of this content. A lot of the dumb questions I've seen about Africa have to do with people believing it's one country. We typically think of Africa as a third world country, but Africa isn't a country, it's a continent. One country. So, do you think Africa is a country or a continent? Country. No, it's not a country, it's the other option. Country. No, it's, it's, a, continent. it's a continent. It's a continent. It's a continent. You, you see, I got my, you see, I got my tea here. I got my tea. He's always telling me these things. Seven countries in the world. South America, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, Antarctica. Africa is a continent, which is Google, Google blue. Not a word. Not at all. Which you can Google. What is the capital of Africa? Is there a capital of Africa? No. Does Africa have a capital? No. What is the capital of Africa continent? This question is a little confusing because they understand that Africa is a continent, but they still think that Africa has one capital. What is the capital city of North Africa? Whatever. So there's at least 56 countries in Africa. 54 of them are recognized. Who is the president of Africa? Who is the prime minister of Africa? Once again, because people believe that it's one country, they feel like they can ask these questions. I thought they answer Kunte Kinte and Obama. That was uh, chuckleable. Again, not a word. Not at all. Funny. This is not a dumb question, but it's it's funny because I've also felt the same way. Do many Americans actually believe Wakanda is a real African country? Ever since Black Panther came out in theaters, it seems like a lot of Americans on daytime and afternoon talk shows have been name dropping Wakanda and or talking about Wakanda like it's a real country. The thing is, I don't feel this way just about Americans. I feel this way about people in general. Like I've, I really, there are some people who believe Wakanda is a real country. It's not, it, it was made up by an American who wanted to see his black friend in, in a comic book. I wish it was real, I wish Black Panther was real, I wish Wakanda was real. I would have been relocated. Another question that I have seen, once again, it's not dumb on its face, but it just leads to really funny responses, is who is Nelson Mandela? So, you, you know, that's not a dumb question. Maybe you don't know who he is. Now that I'm in the middle of editing, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Nelson Mandela has done enough things to be remembered. You should know him. I mean, obviously Nelson Mandela, one of the most significant historical figures of the, of the 20th century. What, what knowledge or awareness did you have of, of him growing up, or when did you learn of him? one of the, the most known athletes uh, in the world and uh, a lot of impact in any kind of sport that he did and uh, that I you know even playing hockey uh, everyone knows him right from from being the type of person that he was off the ice and, and on the ice and so unfortunate that he passed away a year ago but um, you know he, he changed a lot uh, while he was with us and he's uh, he's a tremendous guy. Okay, okay. He, he's a very, very famous figure. He, 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 he fought for freedom for his country. So which country do you think he's from? I would assume Africa. This whole video is pretty much saying, you know, Africa is not a country. It's a continent. The number of people in our continent will more than double to 2.5 billion by 2050. And by mid-century, 40% of the world's children will be African. Listen, listen. 40% of the world's children will be African. Bananas. Comment below with the dumbest questions you've ever seen about Africa.